Shadal, Salamangri, Altergeist, they're all shit. And this is the updated Pendulum deck list to obliterate the brand new format with analysis and everything. Because let me tell you something. Pendulum is officially tier zero. Let's go. format you need to change your deck in order to destroy the new meta before we had to deal with spiral boards lunar light infinity negate boards well guess what now you're gonna have to deal with the likes of a salaman great wolf set rage pass whoop de doo how on earth are you gonna clear one interruption i don't know well maybe by playing the best damn deck pendulums now we're gonna get started here with the new updated pendulum deck to obliterate the entire garbage Shadal, garbage Salaman great garbage altar guys and if you play those decks play a good damn deck because those decks absolutely suck this deck is built and crafted to obliterate all those decks so without further ado let's get started servant of endemian magic of endemian using one of each three of doctor always two reflection you want an extra reflection to clear the window, to clear the Shadal deck, the Salaman Grey deck. One reflection clears the entire board. Playing three reflection might not even be that bad this format. Because if reflection resolves, you just bounce the wolf, you win. Bounce window. GG. Easy. No re. Next. Triple Mighty Master. Uh, they summon at the same time, so you're allowed to do that, by the way, for the people. Okay, anyways. Two Jackal, three Cerberus. Cerberus is also, before I only play two Cerberus, but Cerberus is a one card OTK against Salaman Great. One card OTK versus Shadal. Guess what? Those are going to be the decks you play the most, and guess what? They all suck. Triple Chronograph, one time Gazer. Easy. Two Souls, that's all you need. Two Blue Boy. I can't stress this enough, okay? No one plays two Blue Boy. I can't say this enough. You guys see it in my streams. I'm probably going to be streaming right now while you guys are seeing this video. Blue Boy is absolutely amazing. You need two. Because of the Imperm or Widow Anchor is not two. So Sky Strikers are going to be more of a thing now. Even though they're also by Strikers. They will Imperm your Blue Boy. They will Widow Anchor your Blue Boy. Fantastic. Crowley Effect. Search another Blue Boy Knowledge Secrets. You need to play two. Two Secrets, one Knowledge. Amazing. You need to play this ratio. Upstart into the Void. By the way, don't play more monsters than you see here. This is the absolute, absolute max count of monsters. You want to see these cards. You want to see these draw cards. You don't want to see these monsters. Don't play more monsters than I'm already playing. It's debatable if you really want to, to cut a Serb, cut a Reflection, cut an Abductor for like three small cards. But don't play more monsters than I am. This is basically playing with the line of too many monsters. Don't play more, you'll brick. This is the mi minimum, maximum amount you should play, but this deck never bricks. Triple Desires. This is the best card in the deck. Of course, I want to see multiples. Souls allows you to discard multiples. Triple Allure. Amazing in the deck. If it's not a dark, it's a, the card searches a dark. Cerberus. If it's not a dark, it'll search a dark. Abductor. If it's not a dark, it'll search a dark. The rest of the deck's dark. If it's not a dark, it'll draw a dark. Like these. So don't blind Allure. Search it first. Triple Mastery. Obviously. Double Institution. One Citadel. I put Citadel back in because a lot of times... If you draw four monsters and with one of the spell being mastery, Citadel is, is the only Endymion card that's the best Endymion spell card. So sometimes Mastery is going to want to search the Endymion. Same with a Reflection because you're playing multiple Reflections. Sometimes you want to crash as the best play. So when you crash, uh, you want the option available to search the Citadel. Triple Exchange, a new card in the side deck. This card is so good in the side deck. Why? Because no one's playing Droll anymore. Because Droll is made against... Uh, is played against because of Spiral. Spiral is not a deck anymore. You guys don't need to worry about it. Pendulum is now by far the best combo deck. But now, because people are going to not side Droll anymore, because it's not good anymore, you have Exchange just to stop the new cards like Dark Ruler, Sphere Mode, uh, whatever, stuff, Evenly Match, Mystic Mind, stuff like that. So you don't got to worry about Droll anymore. So Instant Fusion is gone. So Exchange, don't worry about Droll. It's completely gone now. So you can freely play the best deck. Hence, this is the, this is the format to play Pendulum. With Spiral gone, Sphere Mode's gone, Dark Ruler is going to be not in many side decks. What are you going to play Dark Ruler for? Sell Great? You know? Like, all that stuff gone. So, Exchange is great now because you can get rid of the, the Go Second cards, but there's no more Droll. This deck could clear through Ash and Imperm like it's nothing, but in Nibiru like it's nothing. But make sure now that uh, Salad's a deck again, they put they main deck Nibiru. 
uh, people will play in a beer because of salad and because it's good against Shadal as well. You're going to want to make sure to prioritize getting a Jackalow. This is very, 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 very important for this uh, whole new, uh, whole the whole new meta. This is why it's not just a deck profile video. It's an analysis for the new format on how to play Pendulums perfectly. I don't care if the format just came out. I've solved it in seven seconds, okay? Double Mystic Mind, one Terraforming. It's just a ratio count. You want to make sure you have three exchanges because after you pull up your big board, you use exchange on a random extra card you don't need in your hand. You get rid of their Dark Ruler. You get rid of anything they want. Another cool thing about exchange is that if they have, uh, let's say they have two Dark Rulers in their hand, so they have four cards left in their hand, let them Dark Ruler you. Use exchange to get a good card out of their hand. Now they're left with three cards. So out of the three cards, two of them are going to be negated, and you give them a big one of these to their deck, and you obliterate them. Next, two Dark Ruler. And just the ratios I have here for side decking is... Uh, for the, that I know what I'm taking in and what I'm taking out, and I explain it in my Patreon on how to side deck properly. I'm going to make a whole new Patreon video on how to side properly in the new format. So what you do is, I'll talk about it later, but it's just perfect ratios. You don't need to worry too much about spiral boards, or you don't have to worry too much about Lunar Light boards, because you don't need a, a full Dark Ruler. Before, I played Severe Mode and Dark Ruler to stop the Infinity Negate boards and stuff like that, but without Tiger and Master Plan, those decks are ass, so you don't have to worry about them too much. You could go for the Mystic Mind, Mist, uh, Evenly's, the Dark Rulers, and Lightning Storm to clear their board easily. For back row decks, which will see a lot more play, you got Triple Evenly, Triple Lightning Storm, and a Red Reboot. With these seven, you want to throw all seven in against back row decks. Salad, not counting as a back row deck. But you want to throw in all these seven because you're going to have a solemn judgment for one of the seven. So Alter guys, Guru, those decks will be seeing more play now. So you put in these seven, and when they activate, you activate one of them, they'll Evenly, and then you activate the other to destroy the rest of the board. Next, uh, oh, against Salad, I'll talk about your side, but depth three evenly, one reboot is all you want to side against Salad. You don't want to put in too many cards, okay? You do not, I uh, will repeat this, you do not want to put in too many back row cards uh, because the deck, you're going to obliterate it incredibly easily. That's how the deck is built. And they have a lot of hand traps. The red reboot is for the counter trap, uh, and then you're just missing my, uh, re reboot's amazing in, uh, in Pendulum because you just mighty master the whole board anyways. So that's all you want to play. Don't put in Lightning Storm. You don't want to put in too much against Solid Man Great. Lightning Storm, okay against it, but you don't want to overside against a garbage deck. Triple Celine, one Crowley, one Daybreaker, one IP Mascarena. All you need here, Appaloosa, Saryuja, Phoenix, Unicorn. I'll say one budget alternative is a uh, uh, budget alternative is sign up for the Patreon. I'll explain how budget stuff on there. Boral Load, Boral Sword, Beatrice. So without Instant Fusion, there's a lot more space in the extra deck. I'm not playing Instant Fusion just to play one Instant Fusion. That's two cards in the extra deck, three cards you gotta commit, screw that. And there's no reason to protect from hand traps anymore. So, uh, it has more space for Beatrice. And a lot of people don't realize how Beatrice comes up, okay? So you see Beatrice, you think, what the hell am I gonna use Beatrice for, uh, Pengon? But you guys don't understand that Selene's the most broken extra deck card in this whole extra deck by far, and it's not even close. So you wanna utilize it a lot. If you have a lot of board sometimes of like double chronograph, jackal, which you're gonna have a lot, especially when you use Abductor properly, to go for Crowley, you're going to want to make sure to put a Doctor in Scale and a Chronograph in Scale, a Doctor Search a Chronograph. A lot of time you're going to have a Time Gazer and Chronograph going to a Crowley. Hence, you're going to have two Chronographs in the extra deck. So you're going to pendulum those two Chronographs out, and they're going to sit there and make a Masquerina and do nothing. Or you're going to Beatrice. Beatrice, bring out another Mighty Master to the graveyard. Use Selene Effect to bring out a Chronograph to link away. We do Link Shenanigans. Go into another Selene and stuff like that. Or even a Jackal and a Chronograph. To be able to summon out a Jackal and a Mighty Master. Without Instant Fusion and summoning back Millennium Eyes multiple times in the turn, you want something else to flood the grave. So if you don't hard draw the two level 7 Absolute Dragons, or if you don't hard draw Souls, you need something else to flood the graveyard for Selene to start trick looping Selene on your turn, using it twice in your turn, another on the opponent's turn. So you want to flood it with a rank 6. Dorito does not spam the graveyard because you have to you can't detach on your turn. So you need something that's faster than that. And it just floods the graveyard to summon whatever you want. A cool thing as well is Reflection is an auto win against Elementary. Beatrice ensures you have it. If you have an option to have Reflection and Mascarena, that's two cards that bounce a normal summon. It is literally impossible to lose. One Reflection stops all of Salamangri, okay? All of it. I don't know why people have trouble beating that deck. I cannot wait for April 1st to come. I'm going to play online Dueling Bug non-stop. On, on, so check out the streams. Because non-stop on rated, I'm going to get the 10,000 rating, bro. I'm going to be the highest rating by landslide playing the damn best deck. And that's a damn promise. Well, let's spiral that Luna going first to stop you. Pendulum in instantly multiplies in power. Against all the other decks, Shadal, Spiral. Sorry, Shadal, Salamander. I'll let them go first and obliterate them. You guys don't understand how easy it is to out one window. You guys have no idea. And 
Winda Kaliga is their most consistent board, and that's a buy. Winda Mikaba is a lot more harder, but Winda Kaliga is so free. Winda Mikaba is also free. It's all free. Just play the best deck. So that's the video, guys. Get your beautiful trip gaming play mats in the description below before they all sell out with this pendulum hype going on. Sign up for the trip gaming membership while you guys can, and check out the beautiful trip gaming shop in the first link down below. Hope you guys like this video. Pendulum by far the best deck, and we'll see you guys in the stream in a little bit on the next video. Peace.